Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And the shot! A great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's played forward, cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Hoists it forward. Gets the better of his man. Has a power. He's delivered all right. Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Real chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Forward it goes. Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Keeps everyone guessing. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Throw in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets it back. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it. A close fought half of football. But that it still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. 
And if we're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Qatar going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily. He's had a goal! Over to the left. Lovely bit of skill there. Hits one! Plays it out to the flank. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And now they can launch a counter. Could move up a gear here. That's the through ball. Beautifully done. It's gone for a throw in. Should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Hoists it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Bulgaria have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Plays it out to the wing. And time is up. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin.